Dr. James Xavier is a physician and an ambitious researcher. He wishes to invent something revolutionary in medicine that will one day save many lives. In the opening scene, he is getting his eyes checked at a colleague, Dr. Sam's clinic. It has only been three months since the last checkup, which seems strange to Sam. James answers that he is about to use an experimental eye drop on himself, so he needs to get his eyes checked frequently. Although James is a certified professional with years of experience, Dr. Sam thinks being a subject to your own experiment is a bad idea. A human eye can only see up to 10% of the things that actually exist in the world. James is working to create an eye drop so people can see beyond what their eyes allow them to. With this new product, they will be able to see the ultraviolet and x-ray wavelengths and beyond. The idea is absurd, but the doctor is ambitious to make it come true. After the meeting, James goes to his lab and meets his close friend and colleague, Dr. Diane. She informs him that the people who are funding the lab are growing impatient. They have spent a lot of money on James's experiment and are now pressuring Dr. Diane for results. She is particularly frustrated because James hasn't told her anything about his study. James agrees to show her his discovery and brings her to the lab. After explaining what the eye drop does, he uses it on a monkey. To see if it really worked, the animal is made to take a color assessment test. Even though he cannot see the colored sheets from his point of view, he makes the correct guess. This proves that he can actually see through the colored sheets and can tell which one comes after another. Either that or the monkey is just lucky. Dr. Diane is left stunned at the animal's intelligence, but a few minutes later, the monkey dies of cardiac arrest. The death is sad, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the eye drop does exactly what it was meant to do. James wants to use the eye drops for medical purposes because that way, doctors can tell what is wrong with a patient just by looking at them. However, he desperately needs the investor's money for further research. Dr. Diane arranges a meeting between him and the investors a few days later. The doctor is so eager to prove his invention's efficiency that he is ready to use it on himself. He tells Dr. Sam about his plan, but Sam is strictly against it. According to him, the experiment is not worth risking his life. Still, James somehow manages to convince Sam to help him in the application process. In the following scene, Dr. Sam puts the drop into his eyes. Initially, James loses the perception of vision and sees only colors and patterns. He describes it as seeing more light than he has ever seen in his life. Then, he discovers he can see through the piles of paper on the table and read them without turning them over. He is overjoyed that the product works, but he still can only see through the surface of objects. The doctor gets too excited and puts two more drops into his eyes. He regrets the decision instantly, as the second drop burns more than the first one. In the following scene, Dr. Diane and Sam are in a meeting with the investors. James was unable to come because he is recovering from the eye injury. The investors no longer believe in his work and decide to quit funding the project. Dr. Diane and Sam come to him to give him the news. James has bandages over his eyes to help him with the pain, but it is almost as if they don't exist because he can see very clearly through them. A week later, he returns to the hospital. The nurse introduces him to a little girl who has been diagnosed with stenosis. But with his new ability, James finds out the diagnosis is wrong and she actually has a tumor attached to her heart. Thanks for letting us know she's going to die anyway, James. He tells the girl's primary doctor about it, but the man refuses to listen, driven by pride. That evening, Dr. Diane takes him to a party. James doesn't really enjoy such gatherings, but he tries to socialize and dance with a beautiful girl. Suddenly, his eyes itch, and when he opens them again, he can see through people's clothes. James looks around in shock and sees Dr. Diane naked. Upon hearing that she is exposed in his view, Dr. Diane quickly brings him home. The following day is the day of the little girl's surgery. James repeatedly requests the primary doctor to reconsider his decision because the diagnosis is incorrect. When he still doesn't listen, James takes extreme measures and cuts the doctor's hand right before the operation starts. Due to the injury, he can no longer operate on the girl, and instead of going to jail for some reason, James takes over the procedure. He does the correct surgery to remove the tumor and saves the little girl's life with his own reputation. The other doctor accuses him of malpractice, even though the surgery was successful. 
The next day, James goes to Sam for a routine eye checkup. Sam registers that James can only see bones, muscles, and nerves in people, and is quickly losing his ability to see things as they would seem to normal human eyes. It turns out that he has been using the eye drops continuously since the last use. Sam urges him to stop immediately, but James is too concerned about his experiment to care about his health. With the continuous use of the eye drops, soon he will be able to see what no man has ever seen in the history of humans. The reason that Jake Paul exists. Worried about his friend's health, Sam forcefully tries to sedate him. In the ensuing struggle, James accidentally pushes him out the window and kills him. He feels terrible for what he did, but has no way to change the past. Dr. Diane, who witnessed everything, doesn't want James to be charged with accidental death. Hence, she helps him escape before the cops arrive. The very next day, news about the killer doctor spreads around town. James can no longer be seen in public as his old self, nor can he continue practicing medicine. He changes his name and appearance and starts working as a talent in a freak show. He uses his ability to guess the things inside a viewer's pockets and earns money in return. James had thought that his discovery would save millions of lives and is sad about what it has come down to. The guy who owns the freak show, named Crane, recognizes James's talent. He does his best to find out what his trick is, but is unsuccessful. One day, a lady is injured near their set. James quickly scans her for injuries and sees that she has a broken leg. He helps her the best he can before the paramedics arrive. Seeing him handle the situation so well, Crane registers that he might be a doctor. He offers James a deal that is bound to make them a lot of money. He suggests they establish a diagnosis clinic where people can come before they go to the doctor to find out what exactly is wrong with their bodies. That sounds illegal and stupid. James likes the idea, but only because that way he can use his power for good. The next day, they return to the former city and stay in a rustic apartment. Before going to sleep, James puts the eye drops in his eyes again. It has been a routine ever since he first tested it with Dr. Sam. With this drop, he manages to see through the ceiling above him. James quickly puts on black glasses so people won't get to see what the drops have done to his eyes. Right after, Crane brings their first client, an old wealthy lady who has been having severe health troubles lately. She is worried it might be cancer, but only a look at her tells James that she is just tired because of old age. He asks her not to worry because the pain will go away if she takes a rest for a few days. Later that day, James sits alone in his room and records the progress of the medicine. He is interrupted by Crane, who urges him to come outside quickly. James does as told and finds a crowd of people waiting for him to take a look at them and find out their illnesses. The old lady from yesterday has spread the word about him among the circle of her rich friends. I guess none of them could afford a real doctor. James sees the patients and tends to their problems, while Crane pockets several bills throughout the day. Their clinic grows more famous with time. One day, Dr. Diane gets a hint about the clinic and rushes to meet the new miracle doctor, knowing exactly who it is. She sits in front of James, but he fails to recognize her and can only see her muscles. When Dr. Diane speaks, the memories of his former life flood back to James. She reveals that she had several patients come in knowing exactly what was wrong with them. Eventually, she put two and two together and found out about his return. For the first time in months, the doctor has someone to share his feelings with. He reveals that at night he cannot sleep because he sees through his own eyelids. The drops have turned into a curse that flipped his life, but he cannot stop using them at this point. Dr. Diane is worried about his health and about the police finding him because of his popularity. She urges him to come somewhere safe, but Crane doesn't agree. He is too used to making money off of James's talent and doesn't want to stop. The couple fights Crane and runs away from the town. Now, James wants to learn to control his eyes, but needs money for the experiment. Hence, they go to Vegas and end up in a casino. James's ability is a blessing when he gets to play poker. By the end of the night, he has gathered enough money to help him survive a month. But then, the casino's manager and a policeman approach him, accusing him of cheating since no one can win that many rounds in a single night. As James tries to explain himself, a policeman pulls his glasses away to reveal that his eyes have changed color. The sight takes him by surprise for a second, but he soon recognizes James as the crazy doctor who ran away after murdering his friend. Backup is called to arrest him, but James gets in a car and runs away before he is caught. 
They follow him in a chopper, and while trying to run away from it, he crashes. Fortunately for the doctor, he survives the crash and comes out of the car unharmed. After walking for a few minutes, he ends up at an open church where people are busy singing religious songs. By now, James's eyes have turned completely black. The father assures him that God will save him, but James knows he is too far gone to be saved. He looks at the sky and can see God at this point. Huh, and here I thought seeing through clothes was the real heaven. Two policemen arrive with Dr. Diane, but do not arrest him. Drowning in regret for what he has done, James gouges both of his eyes. The movie ends as he turns to the camera and reveals that his eyes are gone.